Today's video is going to be something completely different from my normal content. A while ago, I've received an email that went sort of like this. A new game called Warface Breakout. Sponsored video, FPS game, console, PS4 and Xbox One. That really didn't catch me. Up and reading further though, this is what caught my attention. It's heavily inspired by Counter-Strike, with gunplay-focused combat and armed store mechanic that allows players to purchase weapons and equipment throughout the match. So here we are. I got invited to test out an FPS game based off of Counter-Strike for console, specifically played it on my PS4. I'd like to show you what Warface Breakout is all about. Also, please let me know what could have been done better in such a review video, as I have never really done this type of content. But I'm very curious as to what points I may have missed. I'll also, as always, wander around in the comment section to answer any question that comes to your mind. And before you ask, yes, they're big, and no, you can't touch them. Even though this is a sponsored video, I'd like to point out that anything that's about to follow is my own view and experience. There is nothing that I'm not allowed to say, which is nice. So for everyone who doesn't know what Warface Breakout is, Warface Breakout is the first premium title of my games, which previously only published free-to-play titles like the original FPS shooter Warface. It's a competitive online FPS shooter for PlayStation 4 and Xbox. It's focusing on a classic competitive gunplay and the bomb defusal game mode. It's like, it's like Call of Duty and Rainbow Six Siege have had a baby together that looks the same, but it in the end decided to actually be Counter-Strike. Looks good, but it plays surprisingly familiar to Counter-Strike, as familiar as it gets on console, of course. So let me show you some footage of my spectacular aim and my performance as a PC veteran with tens of thousands of hours in Counter-Strike and other FPS shooters playing an FPS on PS4. As I already mentioned, the game is heavily inspired by Counter-Strike, and up and checking and looking around the console market, it doesn't offer anything like this. It really doesn't. Unless you want to actually play CSGO on console, and nah, you really don't want that. Let's be real. So an FPS game that embodies Counter-Strike to play on your couch. Sounds pretty good, eh? Let me introduce you to the actual game. The objective and overall experience is almost the same as Counter-Strike. 5v5 competitive shooter. Similar movement, however you're able to sprint in this game. Bomb plant and defuse objective at two bomb sites, it's A or B. Attackers versus defenders, in the game the two teams are called Reapers versus Wardens. Breakout also has a money system. Players have to manage their economy to purchase guns, armor, and utility, smoke, flash, or HE grenades via credits. That already sounds a lot like Counter-Strike, right? The game has over 30 weapons with unique recall patterns and gunplay styles. Hello, Counter-Strike. Hello. And it even features skins. A lot of skins. An insane amount of skins. And they're actually really cool. I mean, hello? A burning karambit? A fucking burning karambit. It's a burning karambit, man. You can attach different type of scopes in your guns from the start. So you have as much zoom as you feel comfortable with whenever you aim down sights, which is definitely a thing that differs 
from the regular CS experience. The game will offer five maps from the start, called City, Sandstorm, Oasis, Facility and Storage, with each map having a unique vibe to it, a well thought out layout, and because of that every map does play different in many ways. When I played the game, I personally thought it was fun as fuck. A relaxed gaming session on my couch, thinking about nothing, but just enjoying my time. I love games which aren't getting too complex. Games that are heavily focused on gunplay, FPS shooters, where you run around and just frag out. Even though the fragging out part in Breakout, at least for me, still needs some adjusting. But that's okay, it's an easy to understand game and fun to play. And I can see me playing it when I just feel drained late night or whenever my late night actually is. Hello, sleepy schedule, what are you doing to me, man? I'm, I'm not just very used to playing FPS games on console and especially not a Counter-Strike inspired game like Breakout with a controller. But I'm sure this will be the perfect game to anyone who's enjoying the casual pew pew relax session on console. What's very important to all of this is, of course, the price range. And to my surprise, the game's price sounds like a very fair deal to me. It's $19.99 for the standard edition and $29.99 for the deluxe edition. We're talking US dollars, by the way. What that deluxe edition includes? Exclusive skins. Breakout uses a cosmetic-only monetization system. Skins, they don't alter the gameplay at all and almost all of the cosmetic items are actually obtainable through gameplay. Almost means obviously not the exclusive skins you'd get if you buy the deluxe edition. The game also has no battle pass or something similar in place like that. All players will receive free seasonal updates after the launch, and the progression is the same for standard and deluxe edition holders. You don't need to buy these things, but you can. That's very cool. At this point, thank you very much to my games for sponsoring this video and letting me experience the game before everyone else. If you want to go ahead and check the game out yourself, there's a link at the top of the description that forwards you to the official Breakout website. Thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you like it, and I'm going to catch you in the next video, everybody. Bye. Defuse the bomb. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe with the bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you. Okay.